the Lenovo P2 is really an awesome all-rounder. However, there are a few bugs on the phone which are a little frustrating at times. On XDA forum, there is a Deodex firmware available for the P2, which is also a light version with minimal bloatware. And this is the tutorial on installation of the same. If you love tech videos and do not mind honest reviews, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon for when there are any exclusives that you don't want to miss. Hey guys, I'll be here from Techsplicit. Let's get started. Like I said earlier, making any changes to the stockroom is risky and should only be done if you exactly know what you're doing to avoid any boot loop problems and hence continue the installation at your own risk. I have provided all the links that you need from XDA developers in the description below. To start the process, you need to have an analog bootloader and you can unlock it by going to the settings, about phone and clicking on the build number till it says you're now a developer. Once it is done, go back and select developer options and click on OEM unlocking. It'll take 14 days for Lenovo to unlock the bootloader and once it is unlocked or if your phone is already unlocked, the next step is installing custom recovery on the device. Download the ROM for which I've provided the link below and remember the download location where you've downloaded the file. Install the minimal ADB drivers on your computer if you don't have it already and download the TWRP image file from the link that is provided and rename it to recovery. Now paste the same file in the location where ADB is installed. Switch your phone into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the volume down and power buttons simultaneously until the phone boots into fast boot mode. Connect the phone to the computer and launch minimal ADB fast boot. Type the command fast boot flash recovery recovery.img. Once done, type one more command which is fast boot reboot recovery recovery.img. For your convenience, I've also pasted the commands in the description below so that you can just copy paste them directly. Now, if your phone boots into recovery, the installation is successful. And once it is done, the next important thing that you need to do is, like I always say, backup your phone in TWRP. Always remember to backup before making any changes to the stock firmware, as if there is no backup to the device, it cannot be recovered if for some reason it is boot looped. Once it's done, go to wipe and select advanced wipe. Check the options that are shown in the video and slide to wipe. Once done, go back and select install and go to the location where the ROM was downloaded earlier and install it. Reboot the system after the installation is done and the device might take some time on the first boot. It might appear that the device is stuck in boot loop, but do not panic. Just leave the device as it is. It'll take some time to boot. Perform the initial setup and you're done. You have the firmware successfully installed on your device. I have been using this for the last one week and it is much more smoother when compared to the stock firmware and I really like it. I did not encounter any additional bugs apart from the ones which are already on the stock firmware and I feel it is definitely better than the stock firmware. Just to let you know, I've also installed other custom ROMs on the Lenovo P2 but there are a lot of bugs on the ROMs and on any other custom ROM that you install, the LED notification light and the fingerprint sensor does not work as of now. Moreover, the camera is also not as good as it is on the stock firmware. So if you like customizing the phone, I definitely prefer this ROM to the factory firmware that is currently there on the Lenovo P2. This firmware is not rooted by default and if you want to root it, you can follow my routing tutorial for which I have provided the link in the description below. Let all the people in Texplicit know your experience with it in the comment section below. Like, share the video and do not forget to click on that subscribe button to get notified as soon as the next video is live on Texplicit. There is a lot more content that is gonna come up. Stay tuned. This is Abhi. Over and out.